producing a new cola, kids. And this one isn't poisonous to anybody. That we know of. New and improved Buzz Cola is made from only the finest sugars and waters. Plus, it has a special ingredient, too hot, for the FDA. It'll give you the get up and go you need to do all the pathetic stuff you have to do. Try new improved Buzz Cola. Mmm, cola. Must get Buzz Cola. <laughs> Somebody ate every dessert in the house. I need you to run to the store and pick up some of that ice cream with the miniature pies in it. Oh, it must have been one of our kids. Probably Millhouse. Hey, Apu, give me a cola and I need another bucket of ice cream with mini pies. What happened to the ice cream with mini pies your wife bought this morning? I probably ate it. I don't remember stuff too good. Congratulations, Homer. Mission complete. Go back home and talk to Mom to start the next mission. Yes. Homie, Lisa left for school without her science project. Can you get it to her? Oh, do I have to? You can drop it off on the way to work. And I have to go to work? Thanks for bringing me my model of the digestive system. Hey, where's the gallbladder? I get hungry and it was a fig. It was modeling clay. Oh. By the way, Dad, Mom called. She says she needs to talk to you at home before you go to work. Go! Oh! Homer, go talk to Ned Flanders. He seems miffed and P.O.'d. Why me? I'm the world's greatest neighbor. I even have a mug to that effect. <sighs> I'm all in a dither, Homer. So many of my possessions have disappeared. I called the police to find the culprit. Culprit, eh? My lawnmower, my cooler, my lawn chair, a family portrait, even Rod's inhaler. What kind of sick individual would take this stuff? Oh, no. I borrowed all of Flanders' stuff. Quick. Think of an excuse to get out of here. Uh, excuse me, I think I have to go shuck some corn. What's next? Flanders cooler. I gave it to Barney. Uh, you remember that cooler I gave you for your birthday? Well, Flanders wants it back. Now what will I use for a toilet? Almost done. Now I need Flanders' stupid picture of a stupid family. I blame society. Okay, last one. Now, where did I leave Rod's stupid inhaler? Duh, on top of the dump truck. Woo! I love senselessly pushing. Now to return this stuff before the cops find me sitting around talking to myself. Flanders, look, I found your missing stuff. Now, about the reward. <laughs> Thanks, neighbor Rooney. Here's your reward. A prayer from the Lord's number one fan. Our Father in Heaven... Bless this noble oaf. Stupid Flanders getting happiness from religion. Homie, you're late for work. And today's your workplace evaluation with Mr. Smithers. Ah! He'll find my scorpion farm. Then where will my scorpions live? Only one person can help me. Lenny. Hey, Homer, how about a breakfast churro? No time. Tell me where to find Mr. Smithers. Yeah, I think I saw him at the Quickie Mart. More breakfast churros for Lenny. I'm going to need a car with a little more junk in the trunk if I'm going to take him out. I wonder if Barney still has the Plow King. Barney, can I borrow the Plow King? Take what you want, sexy leprechaun. Just don't shoot me with that dark gun. Oh. Whatever. Uh, he was like that. Was uh, my convertible. I just waxed and undercoated. That's what you get for expecting me to do the job for which I am paid. How can I sleep with that camera? Oh, sexy girls could be watching me on the internet. Stupid cameras, you should be smashed. I'll destroy you at your power source. <laughs> Finally, I can get some sleep. Mindless drones, return to your ugly families. Oh! Leaving the famous bearded cartoon creator incarcerated in a Peruvian jail. In other news, local citizens are outraged over the discovery of surveillance cameras throughout the town. We go now to City Hall, where Mayor Quimby is fielding questions from an angry mob. These miniature cameras are an outrage. Spying on our women's dressing rooms, bathrooms, and locker rooms is unforgivable. I think I speak for all Springfielders when I say, Where is the sexy footage? 
In other unexplained news, strange black vans have been appearing all over town. Marge, that black van is spying on us. Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. Oh, Mr. Burns is behind all this. Evil spying is so like him, that wrinkled old monkey skeleton. Mr. Burns is spying on everybody. We've got to follow him. Not now, Homer. A new violent video game has hit the streets. And we need to get rid of it before it warps any children with its bloops and bleeps. But that game sounds awesome. And therefore should be destroyed. I guess. If only kids would play more video games about sharing. Marge, you know I abhor crazy plans. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go spy on my boss. <laughs> hey, Homer. You look like you're having one of your trademark adventures. Danger! Mr. Burns! Mini cameras! Black vans! Well, good thing I'm drunk. Stupid drunk. Oh, no! He's going to warn Burns! I can't believe I'm racing the same guy twice in one day. See, Montgomery Burns, I know you're guilty. J'accuse! Sir? Fine, I admit it. I had Amelia Earhart's plane shot down. That hussy was getting too big for her jodhpurs. No! You're spying on Springfield with your black vans and surveillance cameras. Black vans? Hmm. Aren't they connected with some sort of pizziola concern? What? They were only pizza vans? I'm a class five idiot. Smithers, release the hounds. And if this oaf is an employee of the plant, fire him at once. I gotta get the new Bone Storm or I'll be as uncool as Millhouse. I'm standing right here, Bart. Hey, that's great. You better get out of here, Bart. Principal Skinner's looking for everyone that skipped school today. And when you're caught, it's expulsion, Bart. Expulsion! I'll get you, Bart. Just like I got Charlie and Nam. Afraid not. Afraid so. Afraid not. Afraid so. Oh, damn your lightning fast wit. Too late, losers. I got the last game. Four finger discount. <laughs> Some crazy lady destroyed all the rest. When will they learn? Video games don't kill people, they just kill their minds. How am I gonna get that new game? Who cares? Video games are so late 90s. Illegal fireworks are all the rave now. Better make it snappy, though, if you want to be part of this trend. One box of your finest quality Chinese frog launchers, please. Here you go, two kilos of Chinese sky candy. They'll blow you away. Sorry, Bot. I can't serve booze to a miner. It ain't right. I'm here to buy fireworks. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> One dozen of your best Tijuana toilet crackers, my good man. Here you go, kid dude. Now don't blow your hand off. Or do. What do I care? Ralph, word in the hood is that you got access to your old man's fireworks stash. Fireworks make my ears yell. Here's some gumdrops. Now make with the works. My daddy's going to put you in jail. Bye. Fireworks, eh? You're looking at five life sentences of community service. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Ow! Shut on my gun! Hey, job of the fat. Do you know where I can get a copy of Bonestorm 2? Yes, I have no time to converse with you. I must be the first to register my disgust on the internet regarding the new McBain film. The action was dismal, and the nudity was frustratingly fleeting. I barely get going. Quick, to the Fatmobile! <laughs> yes, I suppose, but must we call it that? I'm happy to report that your quest for Bonestorm 2 is quite futile. Professor Frink posted a message on my newsgroup, alt.furryanimals.fanfiction.net, that he has bought up all the remaining video games. Oh. I'll thank you not to moan in my mid-sized vehicle. I gotta play Bonestorm 2. Give me one! No can do, my pointy-headed friend. I need the power of video game violence to run my latest invention slash monster. If you find me a World War II communication radio and a satellite, then my creation will live, and we can play with it and enjoy the frolicking. Oh, cool. Real violence is way better than TV violence. It's like a level boss come to life. Now, who would have a World War II radio? That guy that sells all those grenades to Nelson might. I better check. 
Hey, Springfield's lamest. What's the deal? Didn't you hear? Herman's been robbed. Hey, you don't know who did it, do you? Because if you did, boy, that would be great. Oh, no. Now where am I going to get a radio? These fresh skid marks leading away from the scene of the crime could be a clue. But who's to say, really? Hey, Snake, what's up? Um, do I know you, little dude? I need that radio you borrowed. No way, little dude. This radio is going to help me score beaucoup de chicks. Uh, last time I checked, chicks like fast cars, not vintage electronics. Why don't we race for the radio? Oh, I totally agree to your proposal. Now to find a satellite dish. Who has those anymore? Oh, I know! Like trash! Hey there, Mr. Slackjawed Yokel. That be I. Can I borrow your satellite dish? Sure, if you help me scoop up my flat meat, sophisticated city youngster. Those darn revenuers don't like me selling roadkill. Now we got to deliver the delicious goods to the buyer. I sure hope they like stink dogs, cause I do. Please stop what you're doing. No one can sell rotten meat in this town but me. The Bart Man knows all. Rusty burgers are made of roadkill? That explains the tire tracks. Take this satellite dish as a reward. She gets 14 channels, including the outhouse channel. Man, I love watching that. Thanks, inbred hillbilly. Torrent nothing. You expect me to complete a Mark 10 truckosaurus without a blender? Why don't I just make a plasmoclave without a tennis racket for claving out loud? Now fetch me a blender with the puree and the frappe and the liquefy. Now where am I gonna get a blender? Oh, <gasps> Dr. Nick! He loves blended girl drinks during surgery. Hi, Dr. Nick. Hi, everybody. You seem like a heavy drinker. Do you have a blender? Not now, okay? My monkeys have escaped. Can you catch them for me? I'll be so grateful. Why won't they come back to you? Because I have tortured them horribly, silly. There's no way I'll be able to fit all those monkeys in my car. I better get a big truck or something. I need your truck, Homer. Why should I give you that? Because I love you. <laughs> Pay up, sucker. You're charging your own son? Yeah, I guess I am. Welcome home, daddy's little angels. Now, to put electrodes in your brains. Oh, awesome, man. That was the best ride. Here's your last do, dad. So, can I see the truckosaurus thing? Yes. As a word I would love to be able to say, Unfortunately, there are too many people using cell phones, and the interference would then cause the monster to malfunction and kill many people. And my insurance is already sky high with the premiums and the shmemiums. Oh, that was the cool... Well done, my little sociopath. <laughs> I like to smash. Now there is no chance my truckosaurus will go on a killing rampage with the screaming and the sadness and the hosing of blood off the robot... Wow, Truckosaurus is some kind of truck slash dinosaur. I never would have guessed. Uh oh. Yes! Everybody do the Bartman! my stupid brother. Have you seen him? Yes, yes, can't talk now. I must get the last copy of the new Itchy and Scratchy Adventures comic. It's the controversial issue in which they finally kiss. Assist me, and I will aid you with your dilemma. <laughs> Takes more than that to kill me. Now can you tell me if you've seen my pointy-headed nuisance? Silence. I must get this comic into a Mylar bag before it deteriorates into near-mint condition, heaven for Finn. 
Now to get this inky treasure into its Mylar sanctuary. What about Bart? I asked you, have you seen him? I think I saw him at the Noiseland Arcade. Ugh, video games. What a waste of money. Now to go online and bid $1,000 for itchy and scratchy corncob holders. A terrific, terrific expense. Millhouse, has Bart been here? Uh, I haven't seen him. Hey, can I buy you a frozen yogurt? I'll throw in two dry toppings or one wet topping. Bart's disappeared. You have to help me find him. Well, he might be at Wally Weasel's. He likes the smell of the ball cage. Millhouse, what are you doing here? Lisa, what a coincidence. Hey, is that a new dress? No, I've been wearing this dress for years. Now where's Bart? Uh, I think he's at the Planet Hype. Oh, hi, Lisa. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Stop following me. Uh, I heard Bart might be out by the Springfield sign. Perhaps you'd like to share some chewing gum. Hi, Lisa. My, your hair looks pointy today. Melhouse, have you seen Bart or not? So, Lisa, do you have a date for the Harvest Dance? This is not a good time. It's never a good time! <laughs> Bart always hung out at the Quickie Mart. Maybe Apu has seen him. Whoa, this is terrible. A very bad man is delivering roadkill to all the Krusty Burgers, which are cheaper than my Quickie Dogs. Whoa, you play this is... <laughs> that was pretty cool. But Bart's still missing, and I'm no closer to finding him. Perhaps you should consult Professor Frink at the observatory. He seems to know everything. Except why I ever came to this jerk Waterberg. Professor Frink! Professor Frink! My brother Bart is missing! Have you seen him? Well, let's see now. Um, Bart helped me build a monster, and then disappeared in a bright light. What? Oh, this is crazy. I need someone to talk to who's wise and learned. Grandpa, can you help me find Bart? He's missing. Maybe I'm just a senile old man, but Bart's lucky red hat fell out of that black car. Wow, Grandpa, what a great clue. You showed why senior citizens are valuable members of the community. I think my baby teeth are growing back. That's why I had to punch that nurse. I better use something big if I want to take that car out. Like that school bus. Otto, I know I'm a little young to be asking this. Look, I don't have any special brownies left. I ate them all. But do you think I can use your school bus? Oh, right. Cool. Meet my price and she's all yours, little lady. Ow! <gasps> it's empty! What's going on in this town? Excuse me, Chief Wiggum? Can you help? I've got to find my brother. Ah, uh, sorry, little girl. I'm busy collecting evidence on Jailbird. We're busting him on the three strikes law. How many strikes do you have so far? Ah, uh, no strikes. But that's only because I'm a very, very bad cop. Now, first of all, if we're going to go undercover, you will need a disguise. You mean like an eye patch? Hey, good one. <laughs> if we could afford a disguise like that, I wouldn't be getting paid in potato chip coupons. So what disguise do you have? Well, here's one of Ralph's old Halloween costumes. Fine. Wait here and I'll get changed. That's showing them what for. Strike one. Counterfeit designer jeans. The foulest of all crimes. Strike two. Running over an elderly person without a license. Strike three, littering. All right, we got all we need on this low life. Now, about your brother. I've seen lots of mysterious government types over at the docks. Uh, maybe they sent him on a nice cruise. They got some great package deals these days. Five buffets per boat inclusive. Thanks, Chief. You are a good cop after all. Ah, you're just saying that. Yes, I am. Chief Wiggum said there was some strange stuff going on around here. Have you noticed anything weird? You know, black sedans, guys with dark glasses. Yeah, maybe I've seen something and uh, maybe I haven't. Render me a favor and it might jar me memory. <laughs> what favor? I've got a shipment here of live mackerel. Can ye navigate the fishies to the finest restaurants in the Squidport? Those poor fish! I mean, 
mean, sure I'll help. Arr, thanks for delivering me catch of the day. Now, I can tell ye, I saw your brother. Really? That's great. Aye, he was in a long black limo, and ahoy, there's he drove. Oh, God, I destroyed the limo and killed Bart. <laughs> no murderer ye be. He wasn't in the limo. He got out and he boarded that ship. Can you take me there? Nah, I hate the sea. Bart, I found you. Bart, Bart, snap out of it. Oh, I gotta wake him up. Bart, how old are you? What's your favorite catchphrase? Kiss my grits. It's no use. His brain is even more broken than usual. All I can do is take you home and get you a diaper. Mm. Bart, what's causing your Ooga Booga talk? My special little guy's noogle has turned to goo goo. The whole town's gone nuts. Security cameras, mysterious vans, crop circles. There's got to be a connection. Maybe the police know something. Chief Wiggum, I need you to find out what happened to Bart. Could you show me where the crop circle is? There's got to be a clue to curing Bart. Ah, that's cute. I'd love to help. But I got sugar withdrawal real bad. The donut store is closed, and I got a monkey on my back screaming for crawler. Oh, oh, he's screaming. Boy, for a busybody housewife, you sure get results. That crop circles at Cletus's shack. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a truck full of donuts to eat. I'm gonna need a lot of coffee. <laughs> excuse me? I don't care if you is from New York. You ain't taking pictures of our decrapitude for no magazine, no way. No, Cletus, it's me, Marge. Marge! You've got to help me. I have to find out what happened to my baby boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you was a city slicker. But I ain't telling you nothing less than you help us with the harvest. Harvest? If I'm going to be doing yard work, I better change, or my next mission will be to get mud stains out of green rayon. Now, about your query. My grandpappy had done seeding one of them corn drawings once, but he's with Alla now. You mightn't should ask some other old folks about it. Maybe try around the graveyard. Thanks, Cletus. For nothing. Um, excuse me, Hans Mole Man. Can you help me? Shh. I'm hiding from the police. If the police find me out past curfew, they'll throw me in jail. I won't survive another night in jail. Well, I was wondering if you've ever seen a crop circle. Talk to Abe. He mentioned crop circles once. Hurry up and get to the home before the police lock the doors. Grandpa, do you know anything about crop circles? What? Huh? huh? I can't tell you about crop circles right now. Those lousy renegades stole my pills. Without my egg relief, I'll start biting nurses. You don't need the lawsuit. You darn, darn, rickets and crop circles and praying and egg relief. Oh, dear. How could you hooligan steal an old man's medication? You give it back right now. Oh, we traded it to some dudes in a black car for these play dudes? Check it out, man. This one's got an interview with the guy who invented the Wawa pedal. <laughs> Here's your crazy medicine, Grandpa. Hot diggity! Sweet, sweet medication! Gimme, gimme, gimme! <laughs> oh, great. Now I need something to wake him up. Maybe these will jog your memory. Huh? What? For the last freaking time, tell me about the crop circles. There I was surrounded by Tojo and his Nazi henchmen. When one of them, a raccoon as I recall, hits me with a banjo. No, I never reasoned with a raccoon, let alone a Nazi one, so I... Grandpa, what does this have to do with the cramp circle? Not a thing. Where was I? Right, now, the first crap time I rode circle. in a water car... Okay, okay. It was so long ago that I'll have to describe it in sepia tone. Well, a 
as I recall, it was sort of a cosmic kind of thing. Shaped kind of like a planet with an old-fashioned radio antenna coming off it. A planet with an antenna? Hmm, that sounds awfully familiar. I think it was at the Quickie Mart. That's it. It was on a bottle of pop. Maybe that will jog Bart's memory. Bart, do you recognize this design? That's the alien mind control cola. They gave us tons of that up in the alien spaceship. They're using it to make the town go crazy. Oh, thank God, you snapped out of your trance. I was so worried. Later, I'm going to the arcade. This conspiracy goes all the way to the top. I need a little extra firepower. As Officer Marge. Apu, I think you should be aware that you're selling a tainted cola. Where's this stuff coming from? Well, there is little here not tainted in some way. Even the astrology scrolls give poor advice. But I will get to the bottom of this. Well, it made Bart go crazy. And if I find the distributor, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Careful, Mrs. Simpson. This cola makes people do irrational things without guilt. It is as though they have bottled the effects of a raging frat kegger. That's it. I'm going after it. And any other evil cola trucks I can find. Well, that score's settled. Now to go home to my family. You took my precious cola, Marge. It's the only thing that gives me the courage to take off my shirt in the station locker room. <laughs> You're going down. I have been selling tainted cola. Unless I redeem myself, I will be reincarnated as a sea cucumber, or worse, a land cucumber. I must find the source of this evil beverage. The soda invoice commanded I go here, but I see no cola factory. Oh, a cola truck. Time for me to do that Hindu that I do. Hello, stereotypical Italians. Please to tell me the source of the evil cola. We don't know nothing. Except that the vans are controlled by mysterious strangers. Anyway, you shouldn't stick your nose in other people's business. It could come back to haunt you. And your family. Oh my gosh. Your thinly veiled threat has reminded me of my fatherly duties. I'm supposed to pick up the octoplets at the doctor's. I'm afraid we have a medical emergency. <gasps> oh no, my babies. Your babies are about to go to the bathroom all over my waiting room. And diapers aren't covered by your insurance. Ooh, you better hurry. I heard the parents of the Shelby Bill 9 are grabbing every diaper in town. I will get the diapers, but there's no way I could fit them in my car. Maybe Mr. Homer will have a large, gas-guzzling American vehicle that I could use. Mr. Homer, sir, do you have an oversized vehicle that I might be borrowing? Borrowing? No. Selling to you at an insanely high price? Yes. Fine, whatever. Quickly, cover my incontinent children's tushies. <laughs> that was close. Another minute, my office would look like the Ganges River. Hello, famous American clown. I wish to ask a favor. Everyone wants to wet their beaks. Ugh. I require information about trucks delivering evil cola. How can I get this classified data? Sorry, Apu. I'm a drink squeezy, punchy lowlife. You need a professional scumbag. Follow a cop until you find one. You'll have better luck if you, you know, look American. Thank you, horrible man. Hand over your wallet, dude. This is totally a mugging. Oh, what good luck. A criminal. Huh? Well, surely a violent filth bag such as yourself could find out who is driving the black cola vans. Well, I do have a connection at the DMV, but it will cost you. You have to pick up the litter for my community service. It is a deal. Deal. Now hand over your wallet. Yes, yes, whatever. My friend has the information at the DMV. Go pick it up, pronto. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my violent associate. <laughs> Empty. I am the victim of chicanery most vile. That's it, Apu. Make them like it. Sir, this folder is empty. To rob me is one thing, but I never expected you to lie. 
Dude, relax, okay? I've got the info you need. I just need help with a little more community service. <laughs> oh, I'm totally evil. Well, I should know better than to trust that demented chuckle. But okay. What in the hell were you thinking? Oh, chicks love it when I do... What possible service could this be to the community? Shut up and take us back to the hideout. I mean, um, charity place. If you do not tell me who owns the cola trucks, then I will be forced to use... profanity. Okay, okay, don't go nuts. Look, the cola trucks are registered to the museum. The museum? What? Each level of this adventure is more exciting than the last. Oh, I feel like a Brahmin. Oh, Mr. Bart, I have discovered that the evil cola is being made in the Springfield Museum. But that closes in five minutes. And my car is out of gas. Just fill it up at the Quickie Mart. At those prices? No way. Fine, we'll take my car. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually excited to be going to a museum. Shiva H. Vishnu! The cola is dripping from that meteor! Cool! Free deadly cola! We did it! We destroyed a priceless archaeological artifact! Oh. What we? I did all the driving! Now let's find out who's behind all this strange cola business. I know it's a cliché, but... Ay, caramba! Kodos, look at these space ratings for foolish earthlings! What happened, Kang? Foolish earthlings used to be the number one reality show in the galaxy! Space viewers couldn't get enough of these humans and their behavior. Our show is down in all key demos. But our show concept was so perfect. We film these idiotic bipeds with hidden cameras and beam it into every television in the oh, galaxy. Come on, you knockers! These aliens have been secretly filming an intergalactic reality show in Springfield. I knew there was a simple explanation. I'm going to introduce the evil cola into the water supply. People will go mad. I like it. Then we distribute laser guns at the Squidport tourist area. I like it. The cola maddened humans will go berserk. I like it. Destroying themselves and their town. Delivering big, big space ratings for foolish earthlings. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to prevent the aliens from putting laser guns in the hands of cola-drunk townspeople. <laughs> Why? That sounds hilarious. I'd watch that show. I tell you what, you're a bad little boy. Apu, you've got to help me warn Krusty about this alien plot and thus save the good people of Springfield. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot speak English. I only speak Hindi. But you're speaking English now. Uh, yes, I learned these words phonetically. Well, you're just scared of being vaporized by the space monsters. Up, down, up, down. Uh, go hot dog. Butter my undershirt. Blah, blah, blah. Auto man, I need a ride. No can do, little dude. I gotta round up these other little dudes and get them to Krusty Lou for the studio tour. That's where I need to go. Step on it, Otto. Okay. Right after I drop these kids off at Krusty Lou. Otto, I just said that. All right. Stop hassling me, midget Abraham Lincoln. Barney, where's Krusty? I have to warn him. Krusty's not here, little Homer. He's down at the squid port, doing a promo for this new Buzz Cola. But that's the cola the aliens are using to control all human behavior. Control human behavior? No beverage could do that. Oh no, I haven't had a duff in two hours. My life is over! <laughs> but I have to get to Krusty before the limo does. And I have to stay here and go through the DTs. Sounds like a plan. Krusty, listen carefully. Aliens are handing out free laser guns and cola that makes you go crazy. It'll be a massacre. The streets will be littered with lasered-off limbs and heads. Yeah, right. 
and I'm getting into the Country Western Hall of Fame. It just ain't gonna happen, kid. Oh, I just gotta find evidence. Who do I know that's smart enough to prove this alien conspiracy? Bumblebee Man? Comic Book Guy? Disco Stew? That's it. A nerd! Professor Frank! Professor Frank, you've got to help me. No one believes my story. It's just like the boy who cried wolf, except instead of a wolf, it's an alien conspiracy. Aliens? Well, that would explain these strange transmissions from my plutonium CB radio. I must have intercepted an alien message. It says they're hiding the lasers in the duff trucks. Glehive and Gwivey, the plot is convoluted now. Relax, nerdlinger. I'll knock the lasers out of the truck so I can show them to Krusty. If I show this laser gun to Krusty, he'll have to believe me. I can't believe I have a working laser gun and I'm using it for good. I am such a sellout. Principal Skinner! Aliens are distributing deadly lasers all over Springfield. We gotta warn everybody! All we've gotta do, young man, is get that illicit goo gaw out of your hands. Clearly, you forgot the school's zero tolerance policy on lasers. Fire in the hole! Ah, in crayon. Take that. Now to show the proof to Krusty. And if he doesn't believe me now, I'll fry his butt. Krusty, I've got proof now. See this laser gun? Well, what do you know? You were telling the truth. You've taught this old clown a lesson. And uh, blah, 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 etc., etc., stay in school. I just wish you told me before I let them set up those free laser gun stands. Oh, man. I better get some heavy artillery if I'm gonna take out that much private property. Kearney should have something good. Hey, Kearney, I need to do a lot of collateral damage in the minimum amount of time. I've got just the thing. I've got a car that was owned by a super villain. He used it to conquer the East Coast. Oh, why didn't I just do this in the first place? Uh, why didn't I know that showgirl last night was a guy? Hindsight's always 2020. Dad, the aliens have taken over the Duff Brewery and they're using it to store laser guns. Oh, God, never in my life have ever had to do so much explaining. What? This is Duff's worst disgrace since Duff Ice. It's time to use my secret weapon. Remember when I told you I sold my old car so you could go to college? Yeah? It was a lie. <laughs> Yay, tough luck, Swarthmore. The lasers were only the beginning. Even now, our all-purpose evil cola is spreading underground through your water supply. It will wake the dead. Zombies will rise from the grave and devour the living. And our ratings will rise. Rise to levels unseen since the heyday of evening shade. <laughs> oh, man, that sounds cool. I mean, oh, no, I hope their plan fails. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Zombies eating brains? <laughs> oh, this is gonna rock! Dad, the zombies are on the way! Shouldn't we do something? Not now, Lisa. I'm trying to listen to the baseball game. It's the top of the seventh and... Oh, God! Zombies! They're devouring the crowd! Now... Now they're eating my brain! Oh, the pain! Ah! Oh, all right. I'll get us some survival supplies. Stupid Brockman getting eaten by zombies. Landers, give me your first aid kit. Well, I was hoping to save it for Rotter and Totter to, you know, bandage their brain-eater boo-boos. Look, just rub a Bible on them. Will that work to fend off zombies? Who am I, Dr. Science? <laughs> okay, dokily Here's the first aid kit. Daddy, if the zombies are dead, why aren't they in heaven? I hope my brain feeds a poor, hungry zombie. Let's see, I need something to board up the windows. I know! Boards! Hey, come back here! Them's are sleeping on boards! Oh, guess I'll have to use a hog for a pillow now. Oh! I need your chainsaw to chop up attacking zombies. But then how will I defend myself? Mo, Mo, Mo. Shouldn't the weapons go to save people who have loved ones? Oh, 
Yeah, I guess so. I think I made my point. Well, better go comb my hair before the zombies get here. Ah, oh, my life stinks. Hey, you there! Smelly Sam! What's going on? The alien craft is using some sort of tractor beam to suck up trespassers to their doom. Worst effects ever. But that's real! Worst effects ever. What's with the cool black car? My knowledge of sci-fi movies is correct, which it is. The black car is an advanced probe for the mother ship. Now, if you're through, I will spend my last hours on Earth complaining about movies on the Internet. The gift of life is wasted on you. Yes, I recommend you obtain a zombie car. It will protect you well, but it runs on human brains. It's like drawback. I got plenty of those. I'm glad you're here, my morbidly obese ally. Based on my mathulations, I figured out the alien's weakness. It's nuclear waste. Yuck. Uh, and how does that affect me? Well, it could save the life of you and your family. And? <laughs> Look, I've loaded my vehicle with nuclear waste from the power plant. It's going to deliver this toxic payload to the alien ship, risking myself and my delicious brain to zombie snacking, which if you've never undergone that, I can tell you it stings. What a hero. And I never knew his name. Ah, uh, it's Professor John Frank. Are you still here? I am Evil Homer. I am Evil Homer. Nice alien craft. Now to just get out of the path of the tractor beam. Oh, it's sucking me up. <laughs> Boy, talk about thinning the nerd. <laughs> if I'm gonna kill those town filming black car driving cola poisoning laser distributing reality show filming monsters, I'm gonna need some more toxic waste. I need to find some nuclear waste, and fast! Why don't you ask Mr. Burns? His buried nuclear waste has poisoned Springfield for years to come. Good old Mr. Burns. He'll save us. Thank goodness for nuclear waste. Ooh, Odds Budkins, is it you, Merriweather? Come to haunt me again? I killed you once. I... Mr. Burns, it's me, Homer Simpson. So you're not the ghost of my former partner. Whew. <laughs> well, that was... Well, look, I need to get some barrels of radioactive waste to save Springfield from the aliens. I agree. Illegal aliens are a nuisance. Not leaf blower aliens. Tentacle aliens. Do. In that case, here's the map to where I buried nuclear waste barrels all over Springfield. And the EPA wanted to find me. Bleeding heart liberals. I hope they bleed from the heart. I seem to have soiled myself. Nothing lasts forever. Get the lead out. Gone, and the ashtray was full of pennies. I need another car fast. Woohoo! Wow, imagine me getting carjacked with a total switcheroo. Just go. What'll you do if I don't? Flip you the bird. Okay, don't get freaky. Get in. Hurry up, I'm gonna miss quality network television. Why me? I'm king of the world. Where'd you get that sweet ride? I bought it with my social security. Thank you, Uncle Sucker. Give me a lift. I gotta save Springfield. Now you're not gonna sacrifice me for the greater good, are you, son? We'll see, Dad. We'll see. Oh. I smell toast! Death, you effeminate wriggling space watch! <laughs> Imagine that, scared of some harmless nuclear waste. So very harmless. Oh, cut your fingernails! That fortune teller was right. I do end up dying in a spaceship crash. you for rescuing us all from that alien invasion. Did that really happen? I thought it was a bad dream after eating too many raw hot dogs. No, homie. You're the town hero. Sweet. And the ninja babysitters? Was that real or a hot dog dream? Hot dog dream. 
Dad, your fans want you outside. Fans? Oh, those fans. At least our show was a success. Why did we go to Earth Heaven when we died? Well, at least we don't have to sit through the stupid video game credits. No! That guy deserves such a probing. Who are these people? I never saw them during production. They implement torture and punishment. The other drones scuttle and run at their approach. What is the difference between an associate producer and a producer anyway? Oh, if you ask me, these humans spent too much time exchanging long protein strands with one another. So what about this clutch of primates? They dispense the millions of green currency credits required to build the recreational software. What do Earthlings do with these green credits? They are used to control the rationing of essential items like food and toilet seats. Oh, if I get another memo from that guy, I swear I'm going to plots. This one is the alpha male. His sweet odor and brightly colored shirts ensure his dominance. He'll never know his workers have been slowly poisoning him. I really have no idea what these people did. Next year, let's use the female for our cross-fertilization initiative. Huh? She wouldn't give you ten seconds. Talk about a waste of DNA. Indeed. I met smarter people in the drunk tank. These humans were okay. This guy was always saying, don't go there. What a loser. One of these guys had the creepiest forehead. <laughs> I've blown better special effects out of my smell hole. These people made the, quote, movies in the software. Hopefully not everyone will skip their creations as I did. 
These humans made me look fat. Oh, stop it. You're as thin as the day I birthed you. And these bipeds? They are the slave underclass, tied to radiation dispensers day and night. Truly, death is their only release. This one is most entertaining. I laid my eggs in his brain tissue. The Earthlings never learned we replaced these guys with clones eons ago. To them, our bloody vengeance will soon be complete. So these must be the auditory humanoids. Strange how they are all so old.